Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll show you how you can turn yourself into a coin magnet so when your player moves around and you get close to the coins they will move towards you like this and you can always increase the speed uh, the coin will go towards you and the magnet force how a uh, long distance there, sh there can be between you and the coin before they will move towards you. Yeah, let's get to it! So, what I have here in my game right now is a uh, simple player that can move uh, left and right up and down we have five coins here with uh, a box collider on that's everything and then we have tagged the coins as coin so uh, press up here add tag the plus sign and add coin after that take all your coins and tag them as a coin you can always make them to a prefab if you want that and you can do that by dragging down here and then you can simply just put it into the game again and then all of them will be a prefab as a coin but that's another story let's duplicate this again and move this over here so we have five coins let's create a new script and call this coin magnet Scripts just to keep them separate and add this script to your player. Let's compile like this. Join magnets, open it up in Visual Studio. So, first, we need to find all the coins in the scene, and we will do that by making a list of game objects like this so let me zoom in a bit this game objects and this will be coins and we'll make a new list new list of these game objects um, and in the start we will save we we'll make a for each loop and for each coin in game objects dot find objects find objects uh, with tag and remember you need to take the one with the s here else it will not work and you will have to find the tag that you made before coin and if it finds a coin the coins will add the coin so what we do here is we are making a list of coins and for each coin that we find in the game we will add this coin to this list so we can already see it now if we head back to unity let it compile let's go into play mode uh, sorry, I attached the script in the play. Let's attach it again here. Let's add it here. And here you can see we have the coin and there's nothing in it. So right away when I hit play now, now it should add all the coins that we have in the game. It has all five coins I add. And just to illustrate it so be sure it's that, let's call them all coins. So now when we hit play, and take the player, you can see we have all the coins. Good, now let's open up the script again. Now we have found all the coins. Now let's uh, let them uh, move towards you. So in the update function, let's say for each, uh, for each coin, you can write this or you can uh, hit uh, if you write for and uh, double tap 
then it will write it uh, for you. So for each coin in our coins list, we need to say float distance is equal to vector two dot distance. So here we are we are figuring out the distance between the player and the coin, and we need to figure out. Uh, the transform, the position, this is the player position or the position you have attached the script to. If you have the script on uh, on uh, another placeholder, remember to reference it to the player. And then from this, this coin, the transform, the position that it finds. So this line is creating the distance between the player or the one you have attached the script to and to the coin that it find in the list and if that distance is lower than the magnet force we have not created that yet let's create a public float called magnet force And this is the magnet force. Uh, what I mean with that is the distance between the player and the coin. So if that distance, if the, yeah, the distance is lower than the magnet force, then we can say coin.transform.position is equal to vector 2.lerp. And here we want to lerp from the coin.transform.position position and to our transform dot position dot and here we need to create a speed as well and this is how fast the coin should move from its current position to the player so let's say speed and this should actually move the coin now so let's save it and hit back to unity now let's the magnet force i will just set it to 10 and the speed let's set it to 0 0.1 remember all your coins need to have uh, the box collider yeah we'll get to that because we'll destroy the the coin when it hits the player yeah let's just hit play and see what happens so now when the player moves towards it yeah that's because we don't destroy it <laughs> Uh, yeah, but as you could see, it is moving to your player. Let me uh, just turn off my uh, box collider here. So you can see it's moved towards the player. Cool. So now let's destroy the coin when it gets to the player so this don't happen. Let's open up the script again and here we'll create a new uh, uncollision enter 2D. And if the collision the collision dot game object dot tag is equal to coin then we will destroy the collision dot game object so now when it hits the player it will destroy let's hit play again and let's see what happens yep it destroys so now it is giving us a mistake because it says we are still trying to access the game objects but it's not here so a very important thing here in the update we can say it's not there it's after the for each we need to say if the coin isn't oh let it compile on yeah if the coin isn't null so if it is in the scene, then we can do this. Let's try again. Like this. So let's hit play again. And now we are moving towards the player. One more thing we need to figure out is if you see here in the list to the right, the list is still five and we still have something. Or we don't have anything here, but the list is still five. And we want that one to go to zero again because we have no coins in the scene. 
just to fix that in the on collision enter uh, speak, uh, method we need to say the coins list let's remove what do we want to remove the collision dot game object that we had so save again head back to unity hit play and if you see here in the list we have five coins and when we hit a coin it will disappear from the list so when we have taken all the coins the list is empty and this is another method that you could probably use in your game if you want to check how many coins are left in the scene or diamonds or whatever you have then you can use this list and say if it's zero then move to next level or something like that yeah that was uh, what I had to show you in this video. Thanks a lot for, for watching. And uh, remember, if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you and see you next time.